Finally, I just want to talk a little bit about a few of the API improvements that are not big enough for their own slide, but um, are uh, also included in version 40. Um, and there are many more of these that are uh, not listed here. You can go to the release notes to find out more. Um, the first of these is a dedicated ping endpoint. So this is useful for um, checking if a service is available, um, if DHS2 is available. So you can use this ping endpoint from uh, without requiring authentication. Um, it doesn't extend a user session. So if you're um, uh, the, the DHS2 application platform uses this automatically to detect if the user is connected to the, the DHS2 server, um, but it doesn't extend that user's session if they just send that ping. So you can send it as many times as you want without worrying about um, the security implications of that. Um, the second feature here is, is a very small one, but system info uh, has been added to the data summary endpoint, which shows you a lot of details about what DHS2 system you're running and how uh, how many objects are represented in that system. So what are the, the statistics of that uh, DHS2 instance? So that has now has some more information about the, the version, revision, build time, and system ID of the uh, DHS2 instance that you're talking to. And then uh, data store uh, information is, uh, sharing information is now returned in the data store metadata API. Um, this is just, again, another example of an extension to the DHS2 API that is included in version 40. And there are many, many more examples of these um, small improvements or changes to the API, which are listed in the release notes or in the, the detailed JIRA um, issue breakdown that is also included with the version 40 release. 